My GF of seven months left me for a guy she knew for a week. Context my family and I moved to Alaska for the summer because of my parents' job. I left from Virginia for two, one, two months. I am going back at the end of summer for college and would live about two hours away. So here's what happened. I am not a big fan of people smoking weed and drinking especially if they need it to have an enjoyable time. I especially hate any kind of smoking or vaping because I have seen firsthand how poorly that affects you. I also don't like her doing that because she had a rough past with those things because of some trauma. My ex-GF went to a 4th of July party and did all of these things with the knowledge I don't love her doing that. Before she told me all this though we were in an argument because the things she was posting on her story made it seem like she was cheating and she was leaving me open ignoring me. A day later she told me all the other stuff and we took about a week of calling and FaceTiming to mend the relationship. She had met a guy there we'll call him X that she enjoyed hanging out with and told me it was purely a friendship and she had no feeling for X. About a week after put argument we were pretty much done solving all the communication issues we were having and I thought everything was fine. She called me and told me they she was thinking about the future and whatever. I tried to calm her down but then she told me that she was thinking about X. I couldn't stand and told her if she was genuinely considering him over me take him because I am not a second option. She ended it. I am now stuck in a hotel room in Alaska with no real clarity and no friends to help me. My family is helping but it's hard to not let it get into my head and I need help from someone. TLDRGF went to a party, met a guy and chose him over me after a week of knowing him. Edit okay so to clear some things up. When we started dating I didn't know about any substance use until a couple weeks in. And she said she was done with it for the future. I also forgot to add that I am less comfortable with her use because of her past. She used to heavily rely on these things. And I was trying to help. I may have gone about it poorly. But I was only trying to help. And finally. Thank you to all the positive comments. I already feel so much better about everything. Even the negative comments that are trying to help. Thank you. So this wasn't going to last long term anyways. Be grateful it was 8 months versus 8 years of your life. When you get into a relationship you have to know the shit that you like dislike about other people and be firm on them. You'll be okay. This a growing pain. Take care of your health and talk to people who love and support you. Good luck. You can tell someone you don't like them smoking or vaping. But if they want to do it, they'll do it. Honestly it hurts now but it would have been way worse if you had dated longer and they had done something like this further in the relationship. Just showing their true colors. You're at a big changing point of life. Enjoy college. You're only young once. That'll happen. Being controlling is most likely what made her choose the other guy. You can't dictate what other people do in their free time. At the very least you can ask them not to smoke or drink near you. 32 GF here. Good luck ever telling a woman what she can and cannot do lol. Especially that young. Find someone who is sober and values that. But don't expect anyone to change for you. Woman shrugging medium skin tone. If she wants to smoke and drink, then she will. No one wants to be controlled. In the future with your next partner. Establish this before you two commit. Sorry she left you for a dude she met a week ago. It could be worse. My girlfriend of four years left me for her co-worker. 
makes me feel like I wasted those four years. I understand that you are going through a lot. Seven months seems like a long time at your age. It's not in the span of your lifetime. Do what you can to make the most out of your time in Alaska. Treat yourself well and try to enjoy yourself. She's definitely not worth pining over. Definitely not. Don't worry op. When I was 19 my GF of three years left me for a guy she met at a party. Knew him for a month. Then went through my fair share of relationships and now in a 10-10 for the past six years. Also as others have said. Don't try to control another person. State your opinions on a matter. But don't try to change someone. That leads to resentment. An ex and I said it back in HS when she was 14 and I was 16 at the time and then happened with my other ex in college and we were together for three years. But as the saying goes time heals all wounds. You'll be fine bro. You'll meet someone better than her. Just work on that summer bod biceps. People who drink heavily and smoke are red flags. Regardless of gender. Plenty of people who would love to date someone healthy. It's better this way and I have a feeling you will get a call from her when she notices the mistake. She made of trading a stable relationship for a one-week crush. Good riddance you deserve better. Bask in the glory of a clusterfuck passed by. If she stayed, it would happen later. Use your newfound freedom to revel in life and all the opportunities you may have missed if she was still with you. She belongs to the streets. Yeah. Most recent ex. Dated for a year poured way more effort for even a regular relationship she put in pretty much. Nothing then one of her friends came back after four years of silence. Breaks up with me and a week later is telling me about the things they did and how nothing about me mattered anyway. Things happen. I just am lucky I don't have to be around her anymore. You're young. She didn't handle things properly. I'm sure you'll make a few mistakes of your own before adulthood. It hurts now OP and there is no combination of words or phrases that will make that pain go away. Just know that this too shall pass. This storm you're in, you'll weather it. The pain you are feeling is real. But what's great is that you are super young and you will meet loads of new people in your life. And this will one day be but a nasty little blip in your timeline. You'll meet better, cooler people who are good for you. 6MTHS You will look at this. Laugh a bit. And realize she did you a massive favor. Better now than 5-10 years from now. She showed you who she is. Now you get to find someone better. Cry. Be angry. Whatever you need to get you through this time. Godspeed little brother. She's someone else's problem now. Dodged a baby mama and a whole lot of hurt. She left you before you knew even realized it. She's been gone for quite some time. This guy just happened to step in at the right time. Better than seven years. You found out sooner than later. I didn't find my person until I was almost 40. I know that probably doesn't help with what you're feeling but what I'm saying is give it time. Most of us have a long life ahead of us and a lot of people will come and go during that time that said they'd never leave. It's just life man. Let it make you stronger instead of bitter. Best wishes. It's just infatuation. When it's over, she'll be back. She did you a favor. It's over and it sucks. Learn from the experience and move on. From the sound of it you weren't right for each other. And she just saw it before you did. It happens. 